Hi guys, how are you? This is like my third, I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix you up here. This is like my third take with this intro. This is ridiculous. Okay, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Anna. Um, yeah, I actually have been gone for a while. Not too long, I don't think maybe it's been I, I i don't remember i've been going through a lot lately and this year really has been a sucky year for me um be totally honest when it comes to youtube i started planning late because i didn't have a planner and then when i did i've been missing weeks here and there i mean it's been horrible for me but i will get into all that during my actual layout i just want to go ahead and, and get through this intro what i'm going to be using today is in the garden kit from the planner shack i've been dying to use this kit i actually do have a garden of my own a tiny one and not huge and i'm hoping crossing fingers that i do end up getting actual fruits well not fruits the veggies well the fruits to my labor put it that way and i'm crossing fingers because where I live it rained so much it was spring for ever basically summer started very very late here and I usually could um, plant like ending of May but we no ending of May no we couldn't because it was just so wet and so cold still that we couldn't even plant anything down but I do have some cherry tomatoes cucumbers peppers um, watermelon growing and pumpkin if you were curious Anyway, so this is the kit that I'm using, and I did edit this kit. I just printed out and cut only the ones that I think that I would be using. Her kits are like six, well, five to six pages long, and you have a lot. And it usually is set up like this, two of these sheets in one. So, yeah, it comes with a lot, and I'm sure you can stretch it out for more than one spread. With that, I'm going to use these three washies here, um, and honestly, yeah, I think all of these came from, uh, what is that called, AliExpress, I think, yeah, I think so, yeah, definitely. And then, of course, as for the pen I will be using, I'm using my Pilot friction ball um erasable pin and 0 0.7 i always use erasable pins because one my handwriting sucks and two i sometimes write before i even think and mess up a lot so yeah okay so what i want to go in to as my planning now that that intro was finally over <laughs> Um, I actually just want to, oh, before I keep going, I wanted to show you my nails. I did take the gel off, and let me tell you, it just ripped all my nails off. The cuticles, they look really, really ooh, pain, like they're in pain. Trust me, they are. I'm sorry, but I really did want to film. Um, my daughter got me these little sassy and chic little sticker nail polish things and they are so pretty but when we zoom in I'm going to throw out a warning and a caution and my nails are very rigid and bumpy and you can tell and some of them where the lining of the last time I had my nails done when they filed that's the only thing I don't like about getting nails done in a salon that they do file down too much of your own nails and since those nails I had on were actually mine, I just had a gel covering. To take off the gel covering was doing a number on me. And now that I'm sicker, I can't even bother to go into a salon. The fumes are ridiculous for me. Anyway, so I did want to show you. And I think it turned out really, 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 really cute. And from far, they look awesome. Okay, so this was the last one you've seen. And this was way back in the week of July, what week is this? The 8th through the 15th, through the 14th. So, yeah, it was a long time. And that was when I said that I was prepping, wasn't I? Yes. You actually saw this one that I prepped. 
I was getting an endoscopy and a colonoscopy done, colonoscopy on the 8th and I got it done and I actually got my results to the procedure. My AC just kicked on. I'm sorry you're going to be able to hear that in the background, but it's too hot to be in here without AC. Anyway, I got the results on that Friday right here and if you can see, it came back that I have H. pylori, which is a very, very bad um, bacteria in your stomach. And it could get really, really bad in most cases. If it left untreated, it will actually eat through the lining of your stomach and could cause cancer. So needless to say, it is really bad and needs to be on my system. So the doctor prescribed me super antibiotics. And basically I was taking it starting, I think I started my first dose on the 17. Now, the following week, which is back to um, Tuesday the 16, I had another um, procedure done. It was an empty -in test. Um, I'm sorry, it was on, wait, was it? Yes, Tuesday. It was on Tuesday. It was in the nuclear science, nuclear science department. In the hospital and basically I just ate radioactive eggs and disgusting radioactive eggs that I couldn't touch and um, a slice of toast with strawberry jam and a glass of water and basically you eat that they test you right after you stand in front of this these two x-ray plates and you stand there or sometimes depending on the patient you lay there because they do have a bed and you stand for a minute and they scan you and they send you back so I did that for four or five hours basically and then I was sent home and the very next day I was diagnosed that I have gastroparesis so that was the last test so far and that's where we at right now so I don't know if you or anyone you know has a stomach issues and never heard of any of these it's h pylori for the bacteria and also um gastroparesis is my diagnosis for my stomach okay now that i just put put you through that don't even know if you care or not but that's what I've been up to. I've been taking so much antibiotics that it's making me very, very ill. I'm going to go ahead and start. So moving forward, what I want to do is just, I don't really have the energy to sit here for hours under these lights and um, plan like I planned before. Even though when I edit, it's either a 20 minute one or like 35 minute long. Honestly, that's me editing a lot of stuff out. Um, I'm really under these lights and planning for like an hour and a half, depending too, because I am a mom, so I'm basically in and out the room. So, yeah, I can't put myself through that anymore. My body can't take it. So I'm just going to do a one video of just uh, design with me, which is this what this is by the title, just design with me and an explanation of why I've been gone and my illnesses. Um the next following video i will put in my plans does that make sense because it's the only way that i could be able to do this and i don't want to stop filming i do love being on here i do love my subscribers i do i do i do love putting out content so and i love planning and i love the planner shack i love pring for her so hopefully that's okay with y'all i really really hope that it is um but if it's not, I understand. I really do. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I will be using my Mr. Pen Whiteout, which I am running dangerously low, which is my very last one out of the six pack. Six pack? Yeah, I only spend six ninety nine on Amazon. And if I can find it, I will link it down below. And my tweezers. These I bought years ago from Avon. Um, I don't know if they still have them, but you could try. But yeah, that's what I will be using, of course. Sorry about that. So, I am going to put, of course, my 
And what I mean by decorate, I'm just going to put basically the bones of the kit down. And then I'll be back in another uh, video putting down the plans. And I'm going to try to make this a talk through because I haven't talked through a video. And this way I could actually explain everything and bring everyone up to speed. Okay, so I am going to start... I'm gonna start with the bottom washi. It's so gorgeous. I mean, I always do. What am I talking about? But <laughs> oh my god, it's just so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I hope it's not too too bright with these lights plus the natural lighting. So I'm getting double. So that's actually pretty good though. I am going to also be um, using some gold foil, of course, and I am going to be using. Hopefully, I have enough because I ran out and I don't have any more. Um, clear sticker paper or gold foil. I'm hoping this is enough. Um, if not, we'll make it work. And of course, I'm going to be using the Sincerely D Designs little tiny bows. So I'm going to be putting these on the flowers because they're so pretty and I wanted to um, showcase them, but I didn't want to overpower them with a layover. So I'm going to go ahead and speed you through this and then I'll be back so we can lay it down. I'm going to actually speed you through the whiteout as well. Yeah, I think I went a little ball crazy. Aww. Yeah, but it's just so pretty. I couldn't help myself. I love the gold little tiny bows inside the florals. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm definitely using this little strip here. Um, okay, so let's start. I don't know how long you've been following, following, how long you've been subscribed to me. You know, everyone basically, I don't know, but I've been pretty sick for a while now. For a while. Um, I'm not talking about my knees either. I'm talking about my stomach. Um, I wasn't able to hold a lot of food during the fall. As for... Wow. A lot. A lot of things. Like, I was very, very sick. I was always sick. Every time. I smell food. Or I try to eat. Or if I'm... Like super tired you know it was always something oh my god that's so gorgeous look at that oh it's so pretty Gio is going crazy downstairs so i guess someone just got home anyway um yeah because i have a guard bird instead of a guard dog <laughs> i know when someone's home because he's always yeah screaming letting me know it's probably my daughter anyway so um, I was struggling and I was constantly sick. On top of that, I have lupus and I'm a diabetic and, you know, I have osteoarthritis, so my joints are really bad and that is crooked. That is crooked. It feels so funny to be without my nails. I was so mad when they ripped. I even took the cuticle from underneath. Oh, that hurt so bad. Um, yeah, so I was always sick and I was always talking to my um, PCP. And, um, you know, he was giving me nauseous pills. Don't tell me this. It's my gallbladder. Let's go take some x-rays of your stomach. Stomach area. You know, my whole, you know abdominal area it could be something else could be done it could be something you know there maybe something i ate that didn't get digest not that i mean they can't see that but you know, like if basically see if i had any metal or foreign objects and obviously i'm not too i don't put any of that in it but you never know what the food you eat it might have something by mistake so and then I was always constantly vomiting and nauseousness. I couldn't drive. Every time I drove in a car, it was like the worst. And 
let's go ahead and move on to the date covers and I forgot the date dots I think I forgot to not print them but pull them um, what is this week start with I got so many goals but you know they're not in order so the fourth is the fifth I don't think I have enough no I don't and I don't have any more gold oh that was suck um be right back so I looked and no I don't have any more so I'm just gonna add them in and then when I get my supplies because I'm gonna order some more foiling I need silver foil definitely more gold I have rose gold is fine but I need silver and gold and some more sticker paper to clear ones so when I do that and when it comes in I'll just add in the remaining numbers because I could use these two but I actually want gold up here as well to balance out the bowls I have down here okay so let me go ahead and put down the numbers white out the days because it's so light and put these on and I'll be right back <laughs> how it's looking and it's looking so pretty let me move things out the way give you some a little wiggle there let me zoom you out uh, wrong way this way <laughs> oh my god it's so pretty I can't so pretty I love this bottom washi I love it let's go ahead and figure out what are we using for the sidebar so I have a lot of full boxes to choose from um so we got these eight here and then we have these seven here and this long one here which came also with the same hair color as these but I'm only gonna use the one with the blonde hair it's more me because I also have blonde hair so instead of this box I'm gonna use this box so I'm gonna switch this one with this one that's that that looks better there to me and I'm gonna use this one of course in the sidebar because I love using the longer boxes yeah and I'm probably gonna have to white out everything to here which is why I run out of white out Anyway, I got distracted. What was the last thing I was talking about? Mm, I think it was in the fall. I was always nauseous. Um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthdays, Eve get togethers, get togethers. I said that wrong. Um, parties, um, my birthday party, and all that. You know, it's, I was just miserable. I, I couldn't eat. I, you know, eat like anything because I would smell food and it was just rotten. It just smells like rotten food to me and it tastes just as bad. So I wasn't really eating much. And let me just say this from then till now, I've lost 30 pounds. 30 pounds. And not intentional obviously because I wasn't eating and when I did eat I would vomit I mean I couldn't even hold down water to be honest with you I know this is TMI but I just want to keep you in the loop I do consider you all my family 
my YouTube fam. I'm not just saying that just to say it. I actually mean it. So, yeah. Um, so it took me a long time to get a specialist to deal with my stomach because my PCP had gave me Sofran and it did not anything. Nothing. Nothing. It didn't do anything to me, so he bumped it up to a different one that they usually give for cancer patients or terminally ill patients. Nothing. It did absolutely nothing. Now, after this, I'm going to go ahead and build up my sidebar, which I am going to use this water tracker. It's a must now. And I am also going to try to fit one of these weekly boxes for the meals. Um... But I also need to track two things here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lay all that down while I keep going with my story. Well, with whatever. Anyway. So. I'm going to wipe this out while I'm at it. Needless to say, you know, I was just a massive pain. I lost 30 pounds. And I could stand to lose more. Yes. And was it received with open arms by me yes but how no i was miserable and in pain the constant 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 pain that ugh. to be honest i wouldn't i wouldn't wish it on anyone else put it that way i don't know if i want to use washi strip in between yeah why not that looked better to me so when I was talking to my PCP and told him about that that wasn't really working and I'm getting worse I'm losing way too much weight and I can't hold anything down finally got a referral for a GI a specialist but wasn't able to see one because it was towards the end of the year and they weren't receiving all the ones that i called were not receiving or accepting should i say they weren't accepting new patient at the time because it was towards the end of the year i get that i worked insurance before i know how the end of the year works it's very busy very busy time of the year so you know, I get it, but at the same time, I'm in pain. I'm literally in pain in my stomach. It, it, it's at one time I looked like I was seven months pregnant. At one time, I look like I I'm sunk in. The next time, I'm like in between. It's like it's 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 awful. In the meantime, everything I drink and eat felt like it was going down with lava. You know, like everything I was swallowing was like it was lava coming down because my stomach is so inflamed and it was so burning. So I finally got the appointments and whatever that's what y'all knew from past weeks, and now you know the diagnosis. So I told my family, and my family's upset because the H. pylori has been untreated in me for nine months now as they can tell by the colonoscopy well not the colonoscopy didn't come out there in the endoscopy and yeah so they're kind of hitting me with some double dose back antibacteria no what am i saying double dose antibiotics that's like two in one gigantic pill which i have to take three of four times a day it's uh, it's not fun but gotta do what i gotta do I'm basically taking 12 pills a day when it comes to that and then I gotta take Prilosec for the acid if it comes up you know so that way I won't have heartburn so that's not a problem I take it but the thing is it's so strong that I end up vomiting and what's the point of taking antibiotics if I can't hold them down I ended up going to the hospital because I was vomiting three days in a row I couldn't even hold water down mind you i am a diabetic my sugar was really low and so by started on a saturday so by monday i was just 
so exhausted. I couldn't even hardly walk and dehydrated big time. So I just went into the emergency room. I basically called my insurance and asked them what should I do, this is what I feel, and they just said go to emergency room ASAP. Because you're a diabetic and you should not be going days without having food. So I'm like, okay, I did so and really couldn't do anything for me because I am taking my antibiotics. But they did give me a different um, nausea medication that will help with nausea, uh, upset stomach, feeling of fullness that I always have. It's called Reglan, R-E-G-L-A-N. And I actually like it. I'm on 5 milligrams, so I could actually bump it up to 10, depending on how I feel. And it's been working. It's been helping. So I'm keeping stuff down. And basically, the most important thing that I'm keeping down is my antibiotic. I really think I can't. I'm so sorry, y'all. My daughter came into the room, and then she asked me stuff and started talking. And I just laid this down like if I was recording still. I'm sorry. So I did put down this uh, weekly box. But I'm going to leave this tracker. Hmm. I really wanted to use it though. But that's okay. I mean, I could cut these down and put it here if I really wanted to. But that's just too, way too much work. Anyway, I'm going to look for a nice box to put here. So yeah, she was just telling me she has another client. So yeah. Anyway, and I've always liked to use. Is that right? No, it's off a little bit. I like to put a little box down here because I like to write down where the kit is from. So my memory's been sucking these days, and if you look back, like. I have like the names and the name of the kit so that will be for that so you flip it this way I want to add um, I want to add the cutting board to here because this is my dinner box but I don't write down what I have for dinner I just if you've been following me, you know that I just write down whose turn is it to cook. So it will be perfect here. Use, um, Friday and Saturday is always a free day. We don't cook on those days. Or whatever day that I gotta cook and then I don't feel well, we just go ahead and eat something else. Alright, so that is my sidebar and I think it came out really nice. Go ahead and put a bow on here. So, back to my stomach. So, gastroparesis is when your stomach, it's super slow to digest or it's to the point that it is already paralyzed and it can't digest. I'm in the stage that is very slow because that's what the whole nuclear test was it's called a nuclear stomach emptying test which the radioactive egg is what they see going down into your digestive tract digestive tract basically you sh everybody should digest their food within four hours that's why i was here for five hours and yeah no i wasn't digesting at all it was still there and yeah so i'm in the still digesting but I don't feel hungry do you know what I mean stage and we learned that with me having bigger meals and be you know I'm, let me just put these down as I talk because if not we'll be here all day and I don't want that I'm going to use all of the headers and yeah and I think I'm gonna do it in this order so um, there's a diet that goes with it and depending on what stage you are in 
as what you can eat or if you are in a flare-up and the flare-up I learned was what I was having the doctor called it a wave which is just inflamed and it can't either I ate something that couldn't digest and that's why I was vomiting and the pill wasn't helping you know the antibiotic because it was just too strong for me as well but I'm in the stage that I could have food but certain foods but still also be in a liquid diet um because since I have the pylori and it needs to get out and once I get rid of the, py the H pylori I will be so much better and I will have more food to choose from because I can't have dairy right as of now because of the antibiotics um yeah and if I had if I could have dairy again it won't be as bad because I can have liquid shakes you know meal replacement shakes and I still get nutrients so basically the whole backdrop and what makes gastroparesis really bad is that it's no cure and once your stomach is paralyzed it's paralyzed and your nerves are paralyzed your stomach cannot digest and at that stage when it's completely non digesting food if that even sounded right um they would put a feeding tube and feed you give you your nutrients through a feeding tube so yeah that's like at the very very end of the journey there but that's like towards like very very like extreme cases so right now since I do have the H pylori and I can't take well, I can't take, I can't do my diet completely as I want to for my gastroparesis. I'm just going to call it GP. Um, where was I going with this? Well, okay, well, what makes it all bad is that you can eat and eat all day, throw it up, eat and eat again, no matter what your stomach will either you will throw up because your stomach's not digesting so it's just food just sitting there for days getting rotten rotting out and your body's just like up chucks it so instead of doing that and being depressed about everything i'm just following my diet to the best of my knowledge and help my stomach heal not really heal because it's no cure but at least help my stomach so I don't eat stuff that I'm not supposed to I do more liquids and everything I'm, I'm, I'm in that beginning stage that I have to learn as I go um, but I'm okay I'm okay with it I do have bad days I do I have really bad pains my stomach doesn't digest it takes <sighs> the doctor told me the, the medication for my nausea for that day when I went to the emergency room that it take three days to process it completely into my system because my stomach is not processing so it's gonna take three days worth to really help me and it did so I think my processing time of digesting anything in my stomach is three days so instead of the regular four hours as a normal person oh well should I say a healthy stomach I take three days to digest but if I take foods that is pureed pureed if I'm saying other words wrong I'm so sorry but I do have an accent I was raised in New Jersey I was born in Massachusetts I went to school in New Jersey so I figured that out and I'm Hispanic so that's my accent anyway um, I'm supposed to eat pureed food because it's easier I don't my stomach doesn't really have to do much work it's just it just you know it gets digested and my body can take all the nutrients that it needs from what I've eaten and it goes into my small intestines and wherever I need to my body will absorb it the thing with gasparis is that your stomach can't do that it's not doing that and people literally I'm just grabbing this thinking that it's next but I don't know let me hold on to that <laughs> and um, yeah that's the thing you die of starvation and you could eat all day but you still die of starvation because your stomach it's not digesting and it's not um since the stomach's not digesting it can't release the nutrients that it needs off of what you've eaten and put into it so 
yeah anyway needless to say I've tried puree food and I even tried a little squeezable one I put it on my Instagram and it was pretty good it was baby food but it was good <laughs> I liked it a lot okay let me try to go back into this pattern I started with this one no started with mint okay the pink, the green, the brown, and then the mint, and then this one. So I was right. Okay. Um, hold on. This one, and then this one, and then wait. I think I messed up people. This one, this one, that one, and that one, and then this one. This one, this one, and then that one. Okay, okay I got it. I, so, that's what I've been going through, and needless to say, I still have all my other illnesses. I still have really bad arthritis. I still got my lupus. I still got all the other things. So I just have, I don't have one issue. I have multiples, multitudes, should I say, of issues, of illnesses, because I have issues too, but still. And I'm not making this video to be like, oh my God, poor Anna, I'm so sorry. I don't, mm -mm. I don't look for pity. I, I, I don't like feeling sorry for people like pity people and I don't like to be pitied as well I'm just letting you know so that way you can know what's going on with me and then that way when I can't upload you know why and when I do if you do follow me that is on Instagram when I do put those pictures of what I'm eating or anything when it has to do with my health you know exactly what I'm talking about so yeah, I don't don't look for pity. I don't like it. I don't like to be pity. Um, so yeah, I just have to work at keeping myself healthy and nourish. I mean, I got three kids. I don't care if two are adult children, but they still my children, and I need to be here for them and my future grandkids. Yeah, and the rest of the green goes here. So okay. If anyone, like I said, please comment down below if anyone of you know what I'm talking about. Like, if you know someone who's going through what I'm talking about, any one of those illnesses, just please let me know. I would love to know your, in, you know, your input on what's your take on it and what your friend or family member has been doing and, and everything. I would love that because this is new to anyone in my family. No one in my family history has this not like it is a, ge a generative speak no, speak in a generative disease you know it's not hereditary not that I know of I don't think but yeah it's just freaking everybody out in my family needless to say even though I told them don't um what am I looking for oh what I'm going to use for my banner okay so, I need to reserve, um, let me put this one here, because that's the one I'm missing. I think, this is not the one I'm missing. This one goes here, so I need to save that one, and then... And then this blue one goes there. And then I don't know which one goes that one. I think it's the mint. It's the mint. Let's go ahead and do uh, the weekend banner. I'm going to use these in some leftover glitter headers and I'm going to also speed you through this so I'll be right back.
the banner turned out. I am in love. I cannot wait to put these missing date dots. <laughs> but look at how pretty. I love it. Okay. Anyway, um, that's done. And I need to go ahead and do these overlays on here. But I don't want to bore you through all that. And so I'm just going to use the power of editing. No foil. And now you do. Oh, I used to do that all the time when I used to do my makeup videos for my eyebrows because you take the longest. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put down the full boxes, shall we? <laughs> turned out I am loving it do you see the foil let me push up a little bit you can see the foil in the bottom it's so 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 pretty so yeah I'm gonna just leave it at this point and in the next video I'm gonna go ahead and continue from here so yeah if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you don't subscribe go ahead and subscribe cannot wait for you to be a part of my YouTube fam and like I said earlier if you have any questions or anything you want to ask me go ahead and leave it down below in the description bar I will description no down below in the comment section I will try to get to each and every one of them and as for the stickers you already know this is from planner um, shack but I will link it down below in the description bar with my coupon code which is for 35% off go ahead and use it and if you mention my name you will get a digital freebie and that's exciting so I'll go ahead and do that don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also follow the planner shack on Facebook for um, exciting stuff freebies coupons or whatever just go there you will love it so uh, that is it and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.